Okay, so quad ball doggy on the EP121. Um, a little bit odd trying to shoot over my, trying to not hold the camera so it goes in and out of focus the whole time. Um, so let's just find that out. I nutted out a few more of the bugs in my in my tools in Rhino. Okay, so we're up and running. And of course, the first thing we want um, is going to want to pull out a quad ball. And I'm going to turn on snap so I can grab it at there. And make it so big. And let's shade that sucker. Alright, so I'm going to zoom that Mr. Squidgen. And I apply some symmetry to it. Okay, now I'm not the best designer around, so just bear with me. This is trying to get um, two birds with one stone, display the P121, and also do how I do the dog head. Um, basically, I pull out a quad ball, put some symmetry on it over here, um, and then I pull out the ear area from here. So I take your face, I'm going to grab that. And I'm going to extrude it and basically pull it out so it's sort of ear shape. We're going to come in and nut that out a little bit later. Um, I'm going to roll it back around this way and I'm going to grab that face, hit extrude twice, um, and then pull it in for the eye socket. And I'm just going to roll it around. Just do some scaling on that face, and just switch over to edges mode. Oh, there we go, there. So depending what kind of look you go in for, I suppose you poke around here a little bit more. Um, happy eyes, angry eyes, whatever the story is. Um, surprised eyes. Yeah. Okay, so anyway the, the next step then is to get the mouth going in. Um, so I need to select both of them. So I'm going to grab the face mode and grab those two together and again extrude once, extrude twice. Let's pull that guy in a bit like so and let's just tweak it a bit. So let's roll that around. Scale it inwards. Wow, it's got a really happy, surprised looking face going in there. Um, so let's pull that a bit like that. And I think we probably want to bring these bits in a little bit, so I'm going to go back to edge mode now. And just like that. And maybe that in a bit. Now it's a little bit more rounded, and I'm probably going to want to pull this down as well. Let's give a little bit of nose area. I'm not going to get too in depth because what you do with it from there on in is kind of up to you how you want to posture the face etc. Um, and I might switch to vert mode just to pull the nose area out a little bit more. Edges and let's fix up the ear area. And we'll let's do the basics first and let's extrude that in. Just twice. Hmm, undo the one. Hmm, actually, let's redo it here. Do I want it? No. Do I? Yes, I do. Oh, that's extremely good. Right, so let's pull that in a bit. Okay. Um, I'm going to go in and fix it up a bit. So let's take this. Do it here. Maybe down a 
touch into the head. Let's grab you. Can you hear me a bit? Let's grab you. Can you hear me a bit? Can you hear me a bit? So now my hand is in the way of the video, probably. Let's roll that around and have a look around the back of the head quickly. Okay. Probably not one agree. The guy in, so it's more sort of eerie. Mm. Look at those ears a little bit more pointy. I think I'm going to bring that guy up a bit. I'm going to grab that face and scale it. Um, so that's the beginning of that. Um, you've got really the basic shape of what you're going for. From there it's a question of subdividing in here for the nose. Adding in some balls for the eyes. Um, yeah, really it's not too much harder from here. And as you can tell, even doing this on the tablet is not, um, it's not a major issue. It seems to be running well enough. I don't have any issue with it. Okay, that's pretty much that. I don't think I'll record too much more now. Um, cheers. Chris out.